All right, everybody, here we go. The new legendary trailer is here, and it looks like it's gonna be legendary Dimitri. Kind of predictable, because with all the three houses stuff going on lately, I think most people kind of saw this coming. And we also knew it was probably gonna be a blue hero too, because we have, of course, the list of which units come back. That's a really weird looking artwork, actually. Wow. Why did... Huh? huh? Am I alone on thinking this? Let me know in the comments section what you think about this art. This looks kind of awkward to me. First time in a while where I've actually not liked the new artwork. Alright, he's an infantry lance type and he's a pair-up water hero. Okay. Alright, interesting. They had him get attacked by a guy that has blazing lightning. I wonder why. Alright. Arid Bar, I'm definitely saying that wrong. <laughs> Feel free to chew me out in the comments for that, but I mean, you guys know I don't even care how I pronounce things. Okay, so 16 might and 1 range. Accelerate special trigger. At the start of combat, if unit's HP is above or equal to 25%, grants all stats plus 5 during combat. And also, if unit's speed is better than foe's speed, reduces damage from AoE specials. Yeah, reduces damage from AoE specials by a percentage equal to the difference between stats times 4. So it's basically like repel or close call, except only for AoE specials. Oh no, it's actually- no, my bad guys. It's for both. It's for regular attacks and AoE specials. So his weapon has built-in all stats plus 5, if he's above 25% health, minus 1 special trigger, and basically, close call, repel, spurn, whatever you want to call it. That's a really good weapon. Okay, so he's got Blazing Wind as well. Sturdy Impact. Atrocity. At the start of combat, if foe's HP is above or equal to half, boost damage by 25% of unit's attack. And after combat, inflicts attack speed, defense and res minus 5, and special cooldown count plus 1 on target and foes within 2 spaces of target through their next actions wow <laughs> okay that's so it's like everything smoke and then pulse smoke as well <laughs> as well as a 25 percent damage boost based on how high his attack is okay <laughs> an atrocity that is rightfully named that is atrocious Jeez, that's a really good unique b skill also odd tempest okay what is this at the start of odd number turns Unit can move one extra space. That turn only doesn't stack. Okay. So we have boots in the game now. I'm assuming this is probably going to be infantry only. Just based on the icon there where it's literally a shoe with an arrow pointing to it. I'm sure the even Tempest skill is going to have the arrow pointing the other way. But, I, I mean, a much needed skill for infantry units. Just giving them three range mobility for the turn. That's going to be very nice. So this guy, he looks like an impressive fodder unit as well as a good unit to use. Definitely good, and of course he's blue, and we know Legendary Krom is going to be on this banner as well. <laughs> so your boy is going to be summoning pretty happily here. Alright, let's see who else is on the banner. Alright, pretty nice attack animation there. Wait, why are we still on the map? What are, what are they trying to show here? Oh, I guess they just wanted to show him off with the boots skill there. Odd Tempest. Alright, sure, sure, sure. Alright, so let's see who else is on the banner. Alright, here we go. Wow, is that blue pool stacked? Alright, so we've got Legendary Dimitri, Legendary Krom, and the Fallen Male Corin on blue. Okay, I'm definitely sniping on blue. I was already gonna because I need to get four more copies of Legendary Krom to get him to plus 10. Now I have these really good pity breaks thrown into the mix as well. <laughs> so, your boy might have to end up doing some whaling here on this banner. 
I'm gonna have to think about it. I don't know just yet. As long as I get the plus 10 on Krom, I should be fine. Right now, I'm sitting on about 220 orbs. So that should be good enough to get like two or three merges if I'm lucky. So I don't know if I want to spend money right now, but I'll, I'll definitely have to consider it because he's accompanied by some really good stuff. Okay, on Colorless, we've got Legendary Alm. We have Legendary Air, or why did I say Legendary? Mythic Air and then the Legendary Robin. On Green, we've got Legendary Edelgard, Mythic Thrasir, and also Fallen Leon. And finally, on red, we have Mirabilis, Legendary Ryoma, and also Legendary Marth. So, pretty decent overall Legendary Banner. Of course, blue is going to steal the show, like I said. But I think green is pretty strong as well. Edelgard and Thrasir, very powerful units. And Fallen Leon, not a bad unit either. And after that, I think it's probably going to be colorless, just because Legendary Alm and... Air, of course, are very good, even though Robin really holds that pool back a bit. And then Red, really the only Red thing you're going to be interested in is Mirabilis. Ryoma and Marth, <laughs> they are just way past their prime. Until we get that refine for Raijinto and, like, all those other built-in distant counter weapons that really need it. Like Ragnell and Alondite and so on and so forth. I don't know when they're going to get on that, but they really need to at this point. It's just super embarrassing for... Some of these legendary heroes from old to just not even be worth summoning for anymore. So hopefully we start seeing some refines or whatnot for the older units. Our banner is dropping on the 30th. And that's pretty much all they have to say. So I guess real quick, let's just do a little recap of Dimitri. So apologize right away for <laughs> me messing up reading his description at the start of the video. But, of course, this is my first time watching it, so I'm not really going to have a handle on everything at the first, like, look over. But, once again, his weapon has minus one special trigger. All stats plus five if his health is above 25%. And then he has built-in repel or close call. So, I'm guessing he's going to have a lot of speed. Oh, wait, hold on. They showed him on the map, right? Maybe we can get a glimpse of... His actual stats, if we're tricky about it. Right, I guess one more time, let's take a look at his attack animation there. Pretty cool, he does a whole bunch of stabs there. Alright, we should be able to see his stat line from here. Yup, okay, so... Wow, 44 speed? Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> He's way faster than I thought he'd be. Hold on, let's also do some quick calculations here and see if we can figure out his BST. Alright, so he's got 40 health, 59 attack, which we're gonna do minus 16 from his weapon. He's got 44 speed, 39 defense, and then 19 res. So unfortunately, res is gonna be a dump stat for him, but an overall BST of 185. For infantry, that's just outrageously high. Basically tied with the Fallen, or not the Fallen, but the Legendary Corrin that we got not so long ago. I believe she also has 185. Maybe she has 184, I don't remember. Or like 182 or whatever. I'll have to double check that. I'm, I'm sorry if, like, my information isn't completely accurate at the moment. I, I'm doing this, like, super impromptu. Haven't really, like, refreshed my memory on things. I was literally just making a snack, like, I made some Cajun french fries, so... Yeah, your boy is a little bit dumb right now. But okay, from what I can gather, he has a 185 BST. Let me just make sure he's not gaining any stat bonuses from any skills. Yeah, nah, all of his skills are basically just giving him, like, in-combat buffs as opposed to hard stat bonuses. So yeah, 185 BST, that seems to be basically where he's sitting at. And then also, let me see if I can get back to his stats. Yeah, so 44 speed. Wouldn't it be something if he has a super boon in speed? That would make him the fastest unit in the game. Because <laughs> then he'd have 48 base speed. That would be nuts. Res, I wish his res was a little bit better. Of course, we've seen this on the Brave Dimitri as well, where res was a dump stat for him. I don't really think it's going to make that big of a difference, though. Of course, Atrocity is going to be nasty for baiting, because it has Pulse Smoke and then 
like everything smoke minus five. <laughs> so that's a very good skill. And then this infantry movement skill, I think that's also going to be a very good thing. So that's pretty much all I have to say about Dimitri for now. Seems like a very spectacular unit. Let me know in the comments section how you guys feel about him. So that's all for tonight. Of course, I am going to be summoning when the banner drops, so look forward to that. I might do a live stream. I know I haven't live streamed in a while, and I think I am filling up for it for this banner, because we do have some hype stuff on this one. So yeah, I'm probably going to live stream my summons. Look forward to that if you guys are interested. But anyways, that's all for tonight. So this is your boy Tacho signing out. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. And I will catch you guys again on the flip side.